So, my friends, welcome at the new English um, symposium in uh, Nashville, uh, Tennessee. Um, I'm very sad that I'm not able uh, to join you, but I wish you a very uh, good uh, conference uh, today indeed. And the conference, um, I've been told, is also about the understanding of the Jihad in uh, Israel, in Europe and the United States. And of course, this is a very important subject to discuss because the jihad against Israel, as I always say, is not a jihad against Israel. It's a jihad against the West. It's not, as a matter of fact, a territorial conflict. It's not about a piece of land. It's about the jihad against us all. And the reason that parents um, are able to sleep in Europe and the United States is that parents in Israel lie awake at night because their sons and daughters are facing the jihad uh, in Gaza and at uh, their borders. So we should be very aware about the real identity about uh, Islam, which is uh, fighting the jihad uh, towards the West, towards Israel. And um, it's now happening in Europe as well, and I'm sure that you have experienced um, the influx of Islam in, in the United States as well. Now I understood that um, you folks have um, some problems with an enormous amount of Somali people uh, coming um, to your city and you don't really know how to deal with it. Well, unfortunately, the same um, has happened for decades uh, in Europe and in my home country, uh, the Netherlands. And unfortunately, um, our political leaders, who are not uh, political leaders at all, uh, but politically correct multiculturalist and cultural relativist, allow uh, all those people um, to enter our country, where they ignore the fact that most of them are really not willing or eager to assimilate or um, to integrate in our society. But they really um, separate themselves and at the end of the day, at least this is the experience in the rest of Western Europe, um, they want to dominate, they want to submit, they have not the slightest respect um, for our values, for our society, for the equality of men um, and women, for the separation of church and state for everything that we stand for, for our Judeo-Christian culture and our values. So the only thing um, that we can do indeed is uh, stop um, the immigration and be really tough on all those politicians and the administration that allows so many people, in your case from Somalia, um, to enter um, your cities. This is really not acceptable uh, and I think should be challenged, if not in politics, than perhaps even uh, in a, a court of law. What we could do, however, um, at the same time, is not accepting when they are already there that they are not adhering um, to our, the rules and the values of our society. So if they really overstep the line, if they overstep the red line, if they really commit crimes, um, are, are perhaps thinking about uh, that Sharia um, is not such a bad thing to be implemented in their society, then indeed, uh, they should be punished, they should be stripped of their um, asylum status or whatever status they have and being sent back um, immediately uh, to where they came from, whether it's Somalia or another country. Because if we do accept that people from other countries are really changing our society for the worst by um, pro com uh, committing crimes um, or indeed wanting to install Sharia or ignoring um, every respect um, for the society uh, that you really have in your cities in the United States, uh, then it's the uh, beginning of the end and we will lose not only our um, uh, democracy and our values, but we will lose our freedom. So um, I hope this is uh, a beginning of an answer. I don't have the answer for you, uh, but be tough. Be tough on the politicians, be tough on the administration. And um, as long as they are, um, since they are already there, those 20,000 Somali people in your community uh, and perhaps um, if you cannot uh, push your administration or your government or your local government to, um, um, to send them back again, at least make sure that if they are not willing uh, to integrate, that uh, the penalty is as harsh as possible, which should be um, extradition from your city, extradition from your country. This is the least that could happen, because if we don't, if we listen to the political correctness of the cultural relativists, the people who are really not caring so much about your identity uh, and giving up and giving away every, everything they stand for and then it's the once again the beginning of the end. So good luck, uh, be tough 
um, if you are and you will get from the grassroots level and through your congress and through your organizations um, you will get something going um, that it's not acceptable what has happened uh, and will not happen again in the future then at least you're one step ahead in Europe and we are far worse off we have almost every city every major city in Europe has the problems that you are facing today and um, once again we should be on the offensive not on the defensive fight for our values fight for our rule of law fight for our culture and this is the only way um, to beat it thank you so much